We're talking about car prowling on today's edition of Cop Beat. Constable Steve Baker and Constable Kara Hagen join us to tell us how to prevent it, what car prowlers are looking for. So, Constable Hagen, have you noticed an increase in prowlers in the city recently, or is this a constant issue? It seems to be an ongoing issue. It, it usually sparks a lot in the spring, goes throughout the summer, and fades away a little bit in the winter time. But it's unfortunately, it is a continual issue that every city faces. And Constable Baker, what is car prowlers, what do they tend to be looking for most of the time? Is there items that tend to catch their eye? Usually, it is the easy to grab items. Um, generally, you got, you got your change uh, because that's it's untraceable, very quick, easy, just reach in and grab all your change. Or you, your GPS is, and people leave wallets, um, which are also very desirable to a thief. Don't leave your wallet. Um, you, you have iPads, iPhones, and anything electronic that you can just grab and shove in a bag there is what they're looking for and they're going to grab. And if they see something they're looking for, is there ways you can prevent them from getting into your car, getting these items? How can you go uh, prevent getting your car broken into it? Absolutely. Usually what we're finding is that people aren't, aren't normally smashing windows. Uh, they're just going by checking handles. So they'll check handles, check handles, check handles, and then they will enter the vehicle when it, they're unlocked. And you would be surprised at the amount of people that leave their vehicles unlocked. Just lock your doors. That is the best way to prevent it. I mean, of course, people will smash windows if they see something that they want. Leaving your iPad on the seat, they're probably going to do what they, what they can to get it. So do not leave your keys in the car. Lock your doors and hide your valuables. Those are the three biggest things you can do to prevent your vehicle from being a target. Do you find the stickers that you can get that say all valuables removed, are they helpful? Are they another initiative? I think that they would be helpful. We actually have some at the station here, so you can come and pick some up if you like. And uh, they're very helpful as long as you remove your valuables. If you put the sticker in your window and you have your purse sitting there, obviously you're not doing what you need to do, right? You need to remove the valuables, put your sticker up, lock your doors and take your keys. And if unfortunately you didn't do one of those steps and your car does broken, get broken into, what can you do, Constable Baker? Really the most important thing, and, and people underestimate this all the time, is reporting it and letting us know. Because if we don't know, we can't help. And so information is really, really, really important. Even if, even if they enter your car and you look through your car and you say, oh, there was nothing taken, whatever, I'm not going to bother the police. We need to know this information so that we know what's going on in the city and so you can report that online you can come down to the police station or you can make a phone call and a police officer will come over and, and see you when, when they're able to yes if you become a victim make sure your voice is heard car prowling very prevalent in our city make sure to keep your cars locked simple steps to prevent yourself from becoming a victim